All right, everybody, welcome back to the channel. Today, I have an exciting upgrade. We have our new rack mount battery from Lytime. Uh, this is a 48 volt, 100 amp hour, uh, like I said, rack mounted battery. So this is something I've had my eye on for a little bit. And I'm going to take it out of the box, show you guys what you would get in it, look at some of the technical features. And in our second part of this video series, we're gonna actually install it with our solar power system. So let's take a look at it. I have not unpackaged this yet. So this is what we're getting. First thing, we have a nice little packet here with all the instructions to it and your tech specs. Uh, we've purchased from Amper Time before, which is the parent company here. And so far we love their batteries. We've loved their tech support. Um, that's why we're going with these as the upgrade, but good products there. Looks like you have your rack mount ears and your hardware. Very well packaged. Keep in mind, this is almost a hundred pounds. So this is a pretty heavy unit. All right, so we got a box in a box. So let's get at the battery itself. That was a chore getting it out of the box. This thing is beefy. It is really solid built, very heavy. Uh, like I said, it's pushing a hundred pounds. So once you're installing, you might want two people, but um, man, this is, this is clean. This is really nice looking battery. Let me give you guys some quick measurements. If you're not putting the rack mount ears on and you're just gonna put it on a shelf, uh, the width on the unit itself is 17 and about three eighths wide. Um, front, including the handle, so if you're gonna put it in a cabinet, is 19 and three quarter inches from the front of the handle to the back of the unit. So if you wanna give yourself a little bit extra, call it 20 inches. And then your height, seven and a 16th, let's call it. So again, if you wanna give yourself a little bit more clearance, definitely give a little bit more air around it to keep it cool. All right, so here's the front of the battery. This is a 48 volt, 100 amp hour. So basically, if you really don't understand how that works, uh, the mathematical formula here is you do 48 volts times 100 amps and you get 4,800 uh, watts out of this unit. And you can run certain equipment at any fraction of that. So if you're running 480 watts, for instance, you can run that for 10 hours uh, or any variation of that. So if you guys end up needing more power than the one battery, you can put these in parallel. You can put these in series, meaning parallel, you can go negative to negative to negative up to four batteries. Uh, they should be identical batteries, meaning you're buying them at approximately the same time. Uh, if you buy one this year and one next year, typically, you know, the first one would be degraded a bit or just be a different cell formula. So try to buy the amount of batteries you're gonna need ultimately at, at one time, and that way you can get the most power. Uh, and you're gonna just do that by paralleling your negatives to your negatives to your negatives, your positives to your positives and so on. And it gives you two terminals per battery, which is awesome. So you have an in and an out. Um, so they definitely thought of that. You don't have to double lug. And they have these nice protective covers here. So you can get at your terminals uh, you have your circuit breaker to turn the battery on and off. And another great thing about this unit, it has a 100 amp BMS in it. So it's going to regulate your cells. It's not gonna overcharge it. It's gonna control temperature. Um, all in all, they put a lot of technology into this battery. So let's take a look, let's throw a meter on it and see what we get for voltage right out of the package. So right out of the package, we have 49.4 DC volts. So that is awesome. It's well charged right out of the box. All right, so another reason I really like the Lightime uh, batteries is they do use A grade cells and uh, a battery like this should last you 10 years with anywhere from 4,000 to 15,000 run cycles. So for us, it is gonna be a battery backup with our hybrid solar system, meaning that we do still have some grid capability. We have the PV coming in off the roof, the solar panels, and then we have the battery as a backup, uh, which we may end up switching as the battery being a secondary now that we have a lot more power and end up getting our cost on electricity down even more because we all know costs are rising on everything. So this is an investment we're making for the next 10 years to get the solar up and running and hopefully it's gonna pay dividends here very soon. So all in all, this is a very robust system. And what I'd like to do is have you guys check out our next video on us putting it in, and we'll give you a little bit further detail on the installation process. So check out the next video. There'll be a link below, and uh, we'll talk to you guys soon.